There she was, Joanne Lansing, no relation to the ink paint woman for Bill Melendez Studios, taking a daily stroll when suddenly she gazed at a giant meteorite flowing straight toward her. Thinking quickly, Joanne did what any child would do. She makes a sprint for it, and hides behind a tree. Then boom, it went past her and landed at an open field. Joanne soon walked over to the giant rock which was strangely emitting an eerie greenish glow. Joanne felt like she wouldn't want to resist by just touching it like a harmless wild animal, when zap. It seemed to her that she had been shocked to bits by its galactic powers. But what it actually turned out that all her clothes were mysteriously replaced with an entirely new kind of outfit, meant for a spy. Yes, this was definitely new to Joanne, indeed, because, being a tomboy, she had always wanted to grow up as an international spy. This outfit consists of a black leather coat with a fluffy light gambagish grey collar and matching cuffs, a pair of long black leather pants with a light gambagish grey belt, black high heel boots, and long medium grey gloves. Joanne, feeling much more comfy in these digs, was like suddenly I feel so dot 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 nimble, energetic, and hot. She's got the strangest urge to perform a few karate moves some flips, and other action spike rod like that. She feels all Joanie's and for a new job. She's like, I feel so cunning and free like a crazy fox. Well, I'm sorry to say that's what she thought, but, little did she know, it may all become something so literal. While Joanne was just trying out her new moves, her moderate vermilion bowl cut hair seemed to widen out more. Her eyes enlarged into very pale cornflower blue oval shapes, their lids covered in moderate arctic blue eye shadow, and paled, light grayish purple makeup applied above them. She swore she felt her nose pushing out, too, like as if it grew a ginormous banana with a giant black olive on top, and she felt fuzzy from all the karate. True, the top half of her head was engulfed in brilliant amber fur and her nose was indeed a very long muzzle with a small black ball at the tip. White fur covered her mouth region and the front of her neck torso, stomach, and crotch areas. Each side of her head was pointed in an animalistic manner, and her ears were missing. Well, not really missing. They shifted to the very top of her head as pointed dark grayish gamboge ears, but remained hidden completely under her hair. The whole rest of her body had been covered in brilliant amber fur as well. Her mouth lost its color, and a few of her teeth sharpened into fangs. Joanne could actually see her newly formed nose. She could actually feel herself like a little puppy. Also her hands, she could also see, now had four fingers instead of five. She was in a small state of shock. She didn't know what to expect from the new outfit, but she was in a very spot of pain. Her legs suddenly started to extend very slowly. Her chest grew out small breasts. Her hips and rear flared out as her curves gave her a much more hourglass figure. Her thighs began to thicken, and her feet. Now having three white toes instead of five, shrunk just a tiny bit. She stopped growing and was now a mere four apostrophe eight apostrophe. And then she's like, what has happened to me? Now having an older voice, she also started speaking with a French accent. She's also like, I am all grown up. And indeed, she was. Last of all, something popped out from behind her as if it had been following her all her life. She looked back, and there. Sticking straight up in shock was a large fluffy tail, almost longer than her torso, coated in brilliant amber fur melting into white at the tip. Joanne couldn't believe her own eyes. Not only did she grow up so quickly, but she had also turned into a French tune vixen known as Agent Claudette Dupree. When she spotted her reflection in the water, she actually did feel so foxy, literally, swaying her hips and tail in a fashionable manner. She decided to apply for a new spy job on her way to HQ.